Good evening, friends. Good evening, Father. And a very warm welcome to this Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and here of our Father God. Behold, I am made of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and here of our Father God. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and grasp be brought to the glory of the resurrection. To the same Christ Amen. our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be for the Lord. Amen. Let us take our entrance hymn, hymn number 330. Make me an instrument of your peace. Hymn number 330. Visitation. And for her work, 
she was declared a saint. So all of us can become saints, not just priests and religious, but people who are married to, provided we find a spiritual dimension to our life. She found a spiritual dimension to her suffering. We ask the Lord to inspire us in our own life, in whatever state of life we are, to be able to find a spiritual dimension. We ask forgiveness for our sins and the grace to celebrate this Mass in a worthy manner. Together we pray. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask that Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. constantly be examples of shining light through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the prophet Ezekiel As I Ezekiel listened God shouted Come here you scourges of the city and bring your weapons of destruction. Immediately six men advanced from the upper north gate, each holding a deadly weapon. In the middle of them was a man in white with a scribe's ink horn in his belt. They came in an altar in front of the brown's altar. The glory of God of Israel rose off the cherubs where it had been up to the threshold of the temple. He called the man in white with the scribe's ink on in his belt and said, Go all through the city, all through Jerusalem, and mark a cross on the foreheads of all who deplore and disapprove of all the filth practice in it. I heard him say to the others, Follow him through the city and strike. Show neither pity nor mercy. Old men, young men, virgins, children, women, kill and exterminate them all. But do not touch anyone with a cross on his forehead. Begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the old men in front of the temple. He said to them, Defy the temple, fill the courts with corpses and go on. They went out and hacked their way through the city. The glory of the Lord came out from the temple threshold and paused over the cherubs. The cherubs spread their wings and rose from the ground to leave. And as they watched the wheels rose with them, they paused at the entrance to the east gate of the temple of the Lord. And the glory of God of Israel hovered over them. 
This was a creature that I had seen supporting the God of Israel beside the river Jebal. And I was now certain that these were cherubs. Each had four faces and four wings and what seemed to be human hands under their wings. Their faces were just as I had seen them beside the river Cheval. Each moved straight forward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response will be. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Together. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. Praise your servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed. Both now and forevermore. Together. Above the heavens is the glory of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is glory together above the heavens is the glory of the Lord who is like the Lord our God who has risen on high to his throne yet stoops from the heights to look down to look down about heaven
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Jesus gives very practical advice when there is dissent, dispute, confusion among families, among friends. He says if two, if two of you do not agree on something, if you feel you are wrong, the first thing that you do is to approach the person and settle it with that person. Begin one-on-one -on -one dialogue rather than a public display of anger or accusations. How wonderful this advice is because how often uh, we are not comfortable to talk to the other person and so rather sorting it out between the two of us we tend to go on you know I just told one friend and that one friend told another friend and that friend told somebody else and the word spreads around the name of that person is spoiled it could even happen between husband and wife that rather than sorting out between the two of them okay the wife tells her sister then the mother-in-law comes to know and then the husband tells somebody and, and it goes on or even trying to kind of you know accuse each other in front of children here Jesus says sort it out among your two selves and I think this is a great advice, think matters can get sorted out much better with dialogue, talking to the other person, expressing how upset you are that he or she did that. And maybe the other person will say, why? Or that he or she didn't even mean it. But this can happen in a healthy dialogue. And that is why I like these two words. Go for reconciliation rather than justification. Now when we start going to the other person and trying to justify ourselves how I am right and you are always wrong, then the matter gets worse. But if our attitude is I just want to tell the other person and reconcile myself with the other person. So if the goal is reconciliation, if the means is dialogue, then there is kind of meeting of hearts together. But if the goal is justification and the means is accusations, then we do not come at any point of peace. It may seem in such a situation that one who approaches first for dialogue might seem the weak one. Maybe the other one can take advantage of our seemingly weakness. But only our eyes of faith will tell us that that's a small sacrifice to be seen as maybe weak, to gain something much better and greater, peace and unity. Peace and unity in the family, the nuclear small family between husband and wife, peace and unity among the greater, bigger family with in-laws and so on, peace and unity in the community. Yes. We might have to make that little sacrifice and take that first step, first step to dialogue and to reconciliation. The gospel today ends with, if two of you agree on earth to ask something, you'll get it, where two or three are gathered. Now this is an 
kind of an aside I read it only with one person who was doing counselling that the counsellor felt at one point of time that uh, yes, there are not just two of us, me and the counsellee, the one who I am counselling, but I feel strongly the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. And so we are just not two, but three of us in this dialogue. The counsellor, the counsellee and the Holy Spirit. And I felt that very, very nice, nice to think of it, that we are always accompanied by the Holy Spirit. And then I came to another point, now this is my own thinking, it may not be theologically the best thinking, that yes, what happens when I pray alone? And then I said, yes, when I pray alone, it's still two or three. Who are the other two or three? When I pray alone, it's the Holy Spirit that is with me and Mother Mary, my intercessor. So I'm never praying alone. I'm praying by the grace of the Spirit and through the intercession of Our Lady. And that makes me feel nice that, yes, we must encourage community prayer where more people can gather together and pray. But even in my personal prayer, I can still feel that the Holy Spirit inspires me and I am pleading through my mother. Today is Wednesday. We will say the Novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Supper. Yes, Mother Mary is always accompanying us, is a great intercessor for us. As we offer this bread and wine, let's offer to the Lord all our intentions for ourselves, for our family, for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray for the sick, those hospitalized. We pray that all of us may be safe from this deadly disease of COVID-19 and also pray that all of us may be consoled in our anxiety about this sickness, which is sometimes actually killing us, the anxiety and the fear. Let us pray for those who have died in our families, those whose anniversaries we keep at this time. We pray for those who are celebrating their birthdays, wedding anniversaries at this time and today. Let's bring to the Lord all our needs and intentions, people who have asked us to pray for them, people to whom we have promised our prayers. We offer with this bread and wine. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. May the sacrifices be offered to your majesty, O Lord, on this feast day of blessed care be effective for our salvation and pleasing to you in your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal Lord, 
through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of Saint Jane, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Her great example lends us courage, her firm and press sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we do praise you as with angels in exaltation we acclaim. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our hope. Oswald, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them with the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. And have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should head down the by roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service, which we render on the feast day of Blessed Jane, they chant, may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come for you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray for the doctors, nurses and attendants. Protect them. Bless those doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's take our novena to Our Lady of Perpetual Sankar. Amen.
and the feet of our blessed mother. Novena prayers, Mother of Perpetual Succor, Behold me, a miserable sinner, at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all, the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as a perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge that I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I have not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling, I should cease to call upon thee, and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee, as far as I know how I can, to obtain it for me, namely the assault of hell, always to have recourse to thee, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of perpetual succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint hearted. Cheer those that we pray, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, let all feel thine aid, who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady of Refuge, a help of in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us thy mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate, to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore our maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, a virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Our health is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body. And by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you. 
who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Circle, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary from the same regarding our parish feast, the various competitions uh, that are going to be held for children, youth, adults and seniors. It's all sent to the zonal leaders, the parish council members. Hopefully it has reached all of you. You can just open up one of those files which pertain to you. There is a file for children, for youth, for adults and for seniors. So open up your file, you'll get all the competitions that you can take part in. And remember 16th, right? Is the last day to 16th of August. That's Sunday. Sunday is the last day to send in your entries, uh, of course, online, uh, along with the form and everything. So 16th, everything has to come in. So it gives us a few days to put it all together and have a display of all that during our three doom days that is the next Thursday, Friday and Saturday and then the finalists, the winners on Sunday, our feast day, the 23rd of August. God bless you. Have a nice evening. Same to you, Father.